Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the pavilion. Welcome to the Palace Theatre of Monica. And tonight, Liam Dolan, tonight's extremely funny, side-splitting comedian, Liam Dolan Show. Please note that if you have any children, be prepared to cover their ears at certain points. If you have a husband or a boyfriend who is a little bit in touch with his feminine side and his sexuality is questionable, please cover his eyes at certain points in the show. Please note these men should be pointed out to Mr Dolan and their phone numbers should be handed into a member of the team. Mr Dolan has just returned from a holiday in Mexico, so please do not be alarmed upon seeing him this year with a real natural tan. For the members of the audience who do not like change, some of the previous jokes from previous shows have been added. If this is your first time to the Liam Dolan show, enjoy this brand new production. There will be a selection of drinks available in the bar, and some home baking, and some mango chutney. Do enjoy the show. There's a problem, you see. Well, my man, laughing boy, he says to me, I've got your business cards. Oh, I don't know. I said, I've got your business cards, Sandra. I said, right, that's fine. But he's put Sandra McIver, does it for a time. <laughs> the phone's no bloody stopped. <laughs> that happened to my pal, man. She went down to. London, she went to Soho and became a pro. A, 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 she worked during the night. <laughs> she says, uh, well, She's getting tired. She says, How much are you going to charge for that? She said, I don't know. I said, Well, just maybe give them, charge them a wee, you know, a wee, a wee fee at the start. So she came back in that next morning. She was knackered. Uh, she was, was it you? <laughs> she was knackered, so she was. I said, How much did you make last night? She says, Forty-four pounds and fifty pence. I said, who gave you the fifty pence? She said, every one of them. <laughs> Honest to God. Now that man, that man of mine that I keep in the house, oh, he's a terrible, he's a swine, so he had a kid before I forget. I need to make sure, because this is all I can do here. I can't see him bloody corner. No, I just need to make sure he's all right. No, no, no. no. That coronavirus is room. <laughs> yeah, as if it's no bad we get coronavirus, no, it's after it. Lyme disease. <laughs> right, how did I put this here? Can you take that for me? Take, can you can you take What's Polish for gonna take that? <laughs> Wait, I get my mop. Hold on. See what I was saying about that man of mine? We first moved into the house together and he says to me, he says, all right, he said, right, take the trousers and all that after took them off, right? He took his trousers off and he flung them at me. He said, you put them on, Sandra, I put them on. He said, that's the first and the last time you'll ever wear the trousers in this house. <laughs> I took my knickers off and I flung them at him. I said, you put them on. He said, no, I'm so stupid, I'll never get into them. And I said, no, unless you change your attitude, you never bloody will. <laughs> I said, 
said to the doctor, said to me, the doctor said to him, do you smoke after, eh? I said, I don't know, I've never looked. <laughs> I'll tell you something, I'm trying to try that smoke. I'm trying to stop this morning, I hope there's not a fire comes up there, man. Pair steamed in the front of me, I poof like that. I don't think I can smoke. I've been I'm doing a couple of cleaning jobs now, I have a few cleaning jobs I've got. Um, I clean this big posh woman. I don't clean her. <laughs> no, I don't. And I get in a cotton. My neighbour used to be a gynecologist, by the way, and he gave it up and come a paint and decorate and he can new strip his wall through the pet letterbox. <laughs> I was there. Up. She lives up in the London Road, a big, big posh, posh woman. You know, I'll wait until I tell you my pal CD in a minute, CD the lady, and she didn't But, eh, uh, I can't be bothered doing that mob, and I'll just keep doing that like that. So, eh, uh, uh, this big posh woman, you know, I haven't any clean this woman, so it's London Road, right, and it's, it's posh, oh, seeing the folk London Road, right, they actually, they get out of the bath, they have a pee. <laughs> He's just taking the sponge and ringing the sick. <laughs> no kidding you. I'm no kidding you. I went into this woman's house. I went into her bathroom. Right. Is there, is there rains in here tonight? No. Right. So I says, uh, I went in there. Uh, her bathroom was terrible. A terrible mess. There was. Right. Right. <laughs> Right? Or the flare. Or the toilet system. Or the bath. It was up the wall. It was in the back of the door. The front of the door. It was under the line. It was the towers. Right? Everywhere. I said, Mrs. Mrs. I said, that is a hell of a state, that toilet. I have to clean it. She said, I'm off sorry about that, Sandra. I said, it's alright. She said, it's my man, you see. He takes salts. I said, what kind of salts does he take? She said, summer salts. <laughs> So I'm up cleaning this woman, right? And uh, she's getting all your posh, posh wife. She said, oh, I said, Sandra. She got Sandra. <laughs> Isn't it G in it? Sandra. <laughs> she said, oh, Sandra. She said, have you ever been away on a cruise? And I said, well, I've been to Millport, I. <laughs> she said, uh, no, I mean on a, on a cruise. She said, oh. I said, no, we can't afford to go on a cruise. I said, I've been cleaning jobs, two cleaning jobs. My man's only working part time at the post office, I said, so we're not getting tired. She said, oh, she said, are we going free cruises? Oh, I said, stay, I stay, you going free cruises? She said, yes. She said, my husband works for Canard. I said, my man worked fucking hard enough, but we can't go on the cruise. <laughs> I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you about my, my pal. My pal, Sa my pal Sadie. I actually am Sandra. <laughs> What? Oh, I'm not coming now. <laughs> my pal, she says uh, she, she's lost a lot, a, a lot of weight because she was a big fat, she was a big, big woman. <laughs> I said, how are you putting on the weight, Sadie? She said, I've had a lot on my plate recently. I said, that's probably a problem. <laughs> so, she's, she, she's, she's right skinny now, she's getting a bit, but she's let, her, she's let her natural beauty come in. So she's got all the makeup taken off, she's got a red glowing face. And she's got the natural beauty come in, she's got the grey hair, it really suits her, and a thin book. She looks like this mop, actually. <laughs> but she's, uh, well, she's a lovely wee woman, so she is, but she's got a man. She lost a man last month. I know, but it was a game of cards, she lost him, but... <laughs> she's a lot happier. And, uh, so she lost a wee man, and she went and she says, I know what I'm doing, I'm needing some company. And I said, well, get yourself a wee dog. So she went to the, the pet shop place, and she said, I'm looking for a wee dog. And uh, she's daft, but she was done next to this wee lassie and wee lassie, and she said, I'm looking for a wasp. The pet shop man said, a what? A wasp? We don't sell wasps. She said, you can get in the windy. <laughs> she said, eh, I'm looking for a wee pet. So she got this wee chihuahua, Doug, right? Well, I tell you, this chihuahua had this bit of hair sticking up my heart, stick, right, sticking up my heart, this bit of this hair sticking right on my heart. I said, how do you know get a wee bit of that, a Mac, and a V? and just put that on the top of it. 
that will date. She said, I think that'll work if they die, that'll be fine. So, she went to the chemist, she said, do you sell that wheat stuff, that amac? He said, here you go, mad. And he said, right, just stick it under your oldsters and hold your horns up for 20 minutes. Oh, she said, it's no for under my arms, it's for my chihuahua. <laughs> She said, there's no for under my hands, it's for my chihuahua. I said, well, that's the same instructions we don't ride your bike for 24 hours. <laughs> right, anyway, that, that's the thing. I normally like to listen to the wireless. If you get any wireless music in there, son, any wireless, where do you go? Oh, Pat, what's her name again? Tammy Wynaw. That's it. <laughs> I fright my life there, the curtain's shut behind her. I'd rather they shut behind me in front. <laughs> Just what there's a tell you that blue but half to know what. Well I think you're all gonna have a nice free show, but I'm gonna say a wee bit of so oh then there's like Tammy by no. Oh she's clear and she oh do I can do this so you need my crew to phone here. And daddy 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 Do you know the words don't join in, it's my show. Stand stand my man. He's just a dog. Doesn't really matter what he is anyway. Listen, well, let that man go there. I don't mean let it go. Oh, listen, I'm going to crack one. I'm going to check dancing up. If you try to do it, go on. You're all set. And you're quite happy with that, are you? <laughs> but that no too. So we boys at the front row. Look at we boy for long time. Right? <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna let this show go. So I, so I hope you all have a night, good night, and don't forget Sandra McIver. That's a plus five. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Is that a uh, well? This show, hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, you find this show funny. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. 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 And that's what I was going to tell you. What's funny is that um, I am uh, walking up and down because there are people who have restricted view seats, so you can see everything tonight. And um, so, Sadie, what was her name? Sandra. That's it. Sandra, the cleaner. Um, just so you know how, you know they say you suffer for your art and all that stuff, if you get a business you stay up late and all that kind of stuff at night. I've had four pair of tights on for three o'clock today. <laughs> I'm scared to yawn in case I pee out my mouth. <laughs> it's a good trick if you can do it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. I hope you're all going to have a nice night tonight. I hope you all enjoy it. Um, do me a favour. Can you put your hands up if you're a liar? <laughs> Everybody should be putting their hands up right now. We're all liars. Everybody's a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Big liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Because we see stuff every single day and you go, that's lies. For example, you go, how was that film you went to see the pictures? Oh my god, that sad, sad film. I was sitting in there and I was howling. <laughs> oh! Lies. How many of you decided this morning you're going to jump in the shower? <laughs> Did you jump in the shower? Did you? No. Lies. <laughs> here's, here's one of my favourites, right? You go to somebody, would you like a bar of chocolate? And they go, oh no. I have been eating. Can I eat Audi? <laughs> First of all, I don't really believe you've done it, but the fact that you've said you've done it all day, that says to me that you had a wee bit of night for your breakfast. Don't, that's not as bad as I thought. I might get many of that at lunchtime. But we don't, we all tell lies. And do you know what else I think is funny? When, when people do funny questions and they go, um, you know, were you drunk on Saturday night? And they go, was I drunk on Saturday night? Aye, were you? Did you have a good holiday? Did I have a good holiday? Uh huh. And do you know the other one that I think is really funny when people are? So, say for example, right, they go, guess what? They go, what? They go, Bella Jackson's died. <laughs> the other person goes, you're Joe. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Bella, come on, if it wants you, I mean, I tell them all you were deep, but I'm a comedian, see? What do you need to be? What, Bella, come on. And then they go, eh, uh, I, I was talking to Russell the other day, they go, who's Russell? Go, you know Russell? Do I get it? Are you dead? I don't know. Russell, Russell. <laughs> oh, I knew you've said it twice. Uh, I knew, knew you put his second name and his first name there. Russell, Russell. Russell. <laughs> you go back by yourself. That's mental, isn't it? Russell. As if that's going to make it any better. Any better. Anyway, good evening. Who began? Who's in the night? Who's... Oh, there's the royal box down the front. Oh, so there is Shar. Shar, look at you. You've came as a disco ball. Look at you. That's beautiful. That's all right. Look at that, Sharon. That's it. That's very nice. It's very nice. And it's your bingo dress, isn't it? Yes. Eyes down, look in. There you go. No me, right enough. I'm no man that's supposed to waste the time that, isn't it? Wasting time. Who's in the front? Oh, Kelly Ann's there, Stephen there. You really engaged, is that right? Good. How how are you? You could have engaged in November. Aww. Oh, June, January. Who is in the front? Oh, there's Liz. There you go. Hi, Liz. There you go. Aiden's there as well. Who's there? Oh, there's. Oh, wait, you're a little, little, Jackie, you're a little at the back. 
Let's <laughs> see what's going on down here. Who else is it? Is anybody there? Who's there? Who's seats that? Who's not here, Alan? Yeah, yeah, I've got Jordan downstairs, he wants him. <laughs> I don't mind, it's just, just another one every day, she's clearly used to it. I'll be alright, who else is here? Oh, you'd get a wee swig, listen, that cup. I don't lie about it, then, listen. That's what I mean, she doesn't tell lies. Eh, vodka. Very good. <laughs> Very good. It's a what? I wasn't asked if you wanted one. It's a double. Um, I've just got, I've just got back from Mexico, right? Oh, I know, can he hide that? Um, I just got back from Mexico on Sunday, right? And I, and I thought, so I was starting to, starting to I wasn't starting to do that, but then I thought, just, I like when folks say that and all that, and is he, is he, is he? What, is he got brittle bones in his wrist? Just, Nice to meet you, can you shake it a little? Yeah. I like it. Uh, so just get back from Mexico and I was like, oh no, I'm starting to play a wee bit, so I bought this spray. <laughs> See, by the end of the show, you'll think there would be gold bugs on the stage. I've not got any makeup on. <laughs> darker and darker. Um, I love that whole thing when, when, when you go to certain places and you're chatting away and they go like that. Oh, are you, 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 good for you, good for you. That's good. And you go, it, it's, it's really interesting because if straight people spoke the same way that they do, if we were to do that, this is how it would kind of go, you would like, went to a party last week, went to my cousin's party and uh, his neighbours came in, John and Pauline. And I didn't realise they were a couple. A straight couple. <laughs> I stay next door and I tell you what, a nicer couple you could have. <laughs> I was chatting to them all night. I didn't even know they were straight. <laughs> chatting away, they've invited me out to one of the pubs, I'm going to wear their spoons with them. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to eat night. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what we... I don't think it's... Anyway, um, uh, I'm going to crack on because I promised uh, that this bit was going to be quite short. And uh, sometimes I go on and just waffle, waffle, waffle. That's a lie as well. There's another lie. Imagine if I just come good evening, waffle, 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 waffle. <laughs> oh, there's another one before we go to that. Oh, so I just said to her, I just said that I was going to go to the tune and get some messages, blah, blah, blah. And... Did you just say, did I just say blah, blah, blah? Then he says blah, blah, blah. And then the other one that I'll leave you with this, this before we go to that. So, I just turned round and I said to him, You what? You turned round and said to him, You got what, a full 360? This is how I think it would go. Try and go to the dance in the night. Are you dancing the new? No, I was just turning round. Like, what do you want for your dinner? I just turned round and said to a sausages. So, see, the next time that somebody says it, well, when, when, why are you turning round saying things to folk? behind you. You go like, I'm just, hold on, I, I, I'm going to go. I later on, I'll definitely go. Around. Sorry, I just have to turn around and say, my father, my father's behind me. But if I turn and run and say folk to stuff that are next to us, that's no right. And I'll tell you what else, Steph, who's going to go after this show, we were dancing the other day, and um, no me and her, the, 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 the dancers. And she said, right, so can you just put your front arm forward? And I went like that. I've only, I've only got two front arms, I says. Your front leg, front arm forward, and your back leg back. So I thought, is that it? I don't, I don't really think it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to crack on with the show. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Please put your hands together and welcome back on stage my very good pal, Belisa Wallace!
professionally before. I normally sing it when I'm half cut at the Waterloo. <laughs> or if we end up at the underground after the Waterloo, it's worse than that again. <laughs> so this is hopefully the good version. Does anybody remember a band called Tapau from the 80s? <laughs> well this is a wee number. My mummy is no longer with us but every time I sing this, every gig that my mum used to come to when she was here she'd say, do that song for me hen. So I am doing this for your mum. This is a wee number called China in your hand. Here we go. Push too far. Can anybody hear 
bed like a child in the fall of man. Prophecy for a fantasy.
and two brand new hip flasks. <laughs> There's another one in there. Oh. Oh no. I think I've lost my wee man. Uh, it's the side of his face and I'm sorry about that. So, I've just put these over here. Oh, walk towards the light. Uh, good evening. Um, I, I have appeared, I've come to the wrong place, I've come in the wrong door. Which... <laughs> A meeting uh, with uh, with with one of my colleges from the, the <laughs> colleagues around the corner at, at that that church that's in the key park. What's it called? Key park church. <laughs> clever, clever. Uh, we're going to build a church here. Well, the boots in the key park. What are we going to call it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, but. The key pop chops. <laughs> they are Rambo. <laughs> so I I've been given this as a wee gift and I didn't I thought I was going home. But I've accidentally come in the wrong the wrong door, so well if it's well yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> But I was round a a a a friend's house who um, who had lost his nan? I don't I don't mean that the Indian had to put it in the back. <laughs> I'm just saying two Japatis and Steed. <laughs> this is this is this is grandmother who calls her nan. Mind you, she's actually she looks like her nan. She's got a big long face. <laughs> all her black kids. It's all. So. I mean, the thing is, you see her in a race wee face, she says, Oh, let me get your face a wee squeeze, and so I'm not doing that with you, I'll end up with a bar of soap. <laughs> but she's, um, well, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to, well, she's dead. <laughs> but she used to love, um, you know, going out and, and being a great grandmother and, um, and uh, playing around and entertaining the children. And she, was, she was a young soul, a nice heart. Her heart was in the right place. Yeah, thank God for that, I suppose. <laughs> so, but she she used to go and she actually had a heart attack down a, in, in Blackpool on the big one. <laughs> and she, she had a heart attack just as it was going over. She was there with the family and the kids and it was going over to Blackpool and she had a heart attack as it was, it was happening. But, the Lord works in mysterious ways, and it's still at least I've got one last photo here. <laughs> so, uh, uh, it's, it's on a keyring, it's on a mouse hat, it's on a hat. It's on the fridge. She's, 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 she's actually married in the house and she was when she was alive. <laughs> Because she used to always like to play around, and every time the children would come round, and, you know, I remember she told me that, you know, her wee grandson came off. She had a sore back, she said, and my grandson came round, she said, and I was playing piggybacks with him. She said, she fell off three times. <laughs> but she used to play all the board games with him and all that stuff. So the thing is, what happened then is that she's, she's died, and they, and they wanted to know what to do with, with the scattering of the ashes. So they were going to maybe put, put it round the park, and we used to go there, and they're maybe going to put it up in the soft place. She used to go there, and I says, wait a minute, I said, wait a minute. I said, if that's the case, why don't you do this? And I've come up with a genius idea. So we're going to put our ashes into an etch sketch so the winds can stop <laughs> from the good book here. And I know you're all thinking, when I come on, you're all looking at me, you're going, Jesus Christ. 
Correct. This is a story about three couples that go to heaven. Right? A man and a woman, a woman and a man, and two men. As that was 2000 and whatever the hell it is now, right? So they get there and the, the big one upstairs says, no, 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 no. He was having a hell of a day. I said, no, it was, it was too busy. No, you're having a party and two people bring people and you're not allowed to make them. He said, oh, no, no, I shut the door. He's maybe put it on Facebook that he was having something. The Lord turned up. So he said to the first couple, he said, you two aren't getting in. He said, how do you know? He said, you're greedy. Oh, you ever thought about your life's plane was sweeties? That's all. You even married a woman called Candy. That's all you could think about all day. Candy, this, candy, that, sweeties, this, sweeties, that, candy. You married her, no, you're not going in. So they went away. He said to the other couple, he said, you're not going in either. And the man says, how me, how me and my wife are not going in? He said, because all you ever thought about was money. Greed. All you ever thought about was money. Is it money, this, money, that, money, spend, that. You even married a woman called Penny. You're not getting in. <laughs> The two boys were starting one turn to the other. I don't think we're getting in either, Wally. This this woman came to see me in the confessional box, and it's all very private, and you couldn't, you shouldn't say in about them, but come near, but I. Was, so I said, so I said, Angela Bradley, I said, this is what I... <laughs> She said that she had, had been with, with a man every day for seven days. Every day of the week for seven days. I said, go home and get seven lemons and squeeze them into a cup and drink the lemon juice. She says, well, that cleanse my soul, Father. I said, no, but I'll wipe the smile clean off your face. <laughs> couple came in. Now I'd said to them they couldn't have any of that carry on before the wedding. So he came in and said, Father, I said, we couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I said, well, 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 I know. I said, what's happening? He said, well, we have stayed for ages. He said, and then she was bending down to get something out the boat with the freezer and I thought, oh, I couldn't resist it. So I just went hell for leather right there and then. I says, my child, you will be eternally banned from heaven. He said, that's nothing, Father, but eternally banned from farm food. <laughs> so, I'd like to read, we've got a wee prayer here, right, a wee prayer. Because we have to be, we have to be local to the church and get people in with special abilities and needs and all that kind of all that kind of stuff, you know? Remember, remember, I mean it's all changed now, isn't it? All changed. Remember years ago you if you said that a way was on the spectrum he was playing the computer. <laughs> <laughs> no no. So this person has typed up the, the prayers and I don't mind a wee prayer for you, right? This but this person who's typed this up is suffers from dyslexical. <laughs> and this is it. I said I'd read it for our father. <laughs> who art in heaven. Harold be thy name. Thy Comden King. <laughs> thy will be don't on earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> Give us this date, our diary bread, <laughs> and forgive us our trees passes and do deliver us from Elvis. <laughs> for thine is the kingdom, the powers, the knickerbocker glory for, <laughs> for evil and evil, a man. <laughs> Here Mary. Here Mary. <laughs> Here Mary full of grapes. <laughs> the Lord is with these. Blessed art thou among minging women. <laughs> and blessed is the foot of the loom of Jesus. Hairy <laughs> <Hey>, Mary. <laughs> Mother of God. Play with our spinners now. And at the horse of our dees. Amen. <laughs> I hope that I will 
<coughs> see you all tomorrow at the early service. I'll see you, Sham. Especially if you're wearing that dress. It's the number. I'll see you all at service tomorrow. And now I will bid you a fond farewell and good night. And now, please welcome. Who the hell's coming on again? Who is it? Is it who is it? Oh, ah, no, 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 no. He's a very good friend of mine. And unlike when my mother first said to me when I became friends with this gentleman, oh, is PC Plod for Balak as Angel God? I said, no, but PC Plum for Balamoria is. Please welcome my pal Andrew Agnew! Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn. It's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. In the sea, you know how I feel. River running free, you know how I feel. Blossom on a tree, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. Can fly out in the sun, you know what I mean, don't you know? Butterflies are having fun, you know what I mean. Sleep in peace when day is done, that's what I mean. That this old world is a new world.
was we went. And so we can tell Kelly Henry and officially that we inflated the tunnel. My time approximately 20 hours and 15 minutes. And then it's welcome on board. It's very simple. Thank you the uh, of the uh, the and we trust that you have done it again, you have done it again. This part of the eight world service was all that commence from the Sunderland and continue bringing a physical and So please sit back and relax, have a very pleasant flight from here to the crew and the uh, flight deck, and please uh, bring full attention to your uh, chief personal boiling safety demonstration. Thank you. demonstration stuff. Hey, you're all lucky tonight. Welcome aboard this Dolan Air flight to Lanzarote. Yeah. The weather is currently 28 degrees Celsius and it's a scorching day and it's absolutely lovely. Flight time is about four hours, 15 minutes. Oh, bugger, I've got my shoes wrong. Oh, that's the wrong day, that's tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome aboard this flight to Manchester. <laughs> Temperatures are just about minus two degrees and it's P1 essing it down. <laughs> I've had to edit myself there. Right, where I'm going to get a little bit, hang on, put that in there. Sugar. <laughs> I haven't even had to drink yet. Right, can I have a little, uh, a little, uh, a, a chair? Tonight. <laughs> where is it? Where's my chair gone? All right, ta, love, ta, oh, show business. Right, just want to pop this on here because I've got a couple of things to do for the safety demonstration and I need your full and total attention. <laughs> do you know, I was on this flight once, right? How do you bend down in bloody skirts? Right. Oh, that's it. I was on this flight once, there was a lady, she was very nervous and I was working with Jesus. Right, you know Jesus? Yeah, well, it's Jesus, isn't it? I was working with her, she was very nervous. It was one of those double-decker flights. And she said to me, I don't know if I'm a nervous fire or not, I don't know what I'm going to do. She said, how long's the flight? And I said, I'll just go upstairs and ask Jesus for you, she nearly peed. <laughs> she didn't know what she was doing. Right, here we go. How do you open this? Oh, here we go. I went on the flight back. I'll tell you this true story. Uh, and this woman, she said, excuse me, what kind of animal is an oot? And I said, what? She said, what kind of animal is an oot? We just don't tea and coffee. She said, what kind of animal is an oot? And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. She went, this is oot's milk. I said, it's UHT, love. <laughs> and you know that fellow that we were on singing before, Andrew? Andrew Plum. And we were on a flight coming back from Mexico, right? And do you know what he said? They were on the overhead bin, you know that thing where you put your, your thing missing your thing, that? And he was like that. Oh, look, somebody's left a bomber. He meant jacket. <laughs> Don't go saying that on the plane. Let me just see what I've got in here. What happens to do the safety demonstration? Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we 
you would like to get you on board, like to fasten your seatbelt, stay easy, like that, you put it in, like that, you take it out. Said simple, if you don't know how to do a bloody seatbelt, you should be flying anyway, you should be going travelling on your own, should you? It's just the seatbelt you do it on the car, you probably did it on the taxi, the bus on the way to the terminal, in, and I'll find a hawky corky. <laughs> hey, the fellow that wrote the hawky corky died the other day, did you read that in the paper? He died. Poor bugger, what a shame. It was all gone all right until they tried to get him in the coffin. <laughs> Put the left leg in, <laughs> the left leg out, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. So that's what you do with the safety demonstration, like that. Oh, by the way, if you're a big fat bat, if you're a larger, <laughs> if you're a larger person, then all you've got to do is ask for two of these. Oh, lose weight. Oh, can't be doing with fat people, can you? Oh, all the fatties put on me around. Oh, you can't. Anyway. Oh, I don't, you can't, you can't be a big fatty in my job. Look at this, look at this. You can't be a big fatty. No, you can't, you can't, because, cause, you know, wait, playing like that. Mm. But, you know, I, I think, honestly, I think if you're so fat that the only fella that can take you out is the fire brigade. <laughs> out the window, that's far too fat, isn't it? Eh? I was talking to this lady once and she said to me, I was doing all that stuff, and she said, I think you're fattest. I said, no, I love you, I'm definitely the fattest. <laughs> In the unlikely event of an emergency, you'll have to put this down. This goes over your head, I can't do it because I've got my hat on. But if you land into a, a nightclub, you can get a little light on there on the big water. <laughs> and for those of you who are diabetic, there's a little stick of licorice as well, just on the side. You can't tell. But in the unlikely event of loss of cabin pressure, then it will drop from the top. You just put the straps over your head and breathe normally. Well, breathe as normally as you can if you're going to die. <laughs> right, so that's that. That's lovely. The in-flight meal tonight, there are two choices, yes or no. <laughs> and the pilot today will be taking us uh, to our destination. That's Captain Stephen Wonder, not Stevie Wonder. <laughs> no, it's not him, it's not him. He's got, a, he's got a great, great eyesight. Well, he's got, in one eye, he's got a great eyesight. <laughs> Uh, the other one is kind of like, it's like that, so we don't know where we're going to land most of the time, we don't know where we're going. He don't like to slag him about it, about his wonky eye because he starts crying and the tears run down his back. <laughs> we call them bacteria. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, you know, the pilot left, his, left the intercom on one day and we were going to Mauritius, right, and he said, I can't wait. He said, I can't wait to get that big blondie back. I'm going to go to my hotel, I'm going to have a bath, I'm going to have a bit of dinner and a glass of wine, and I'm going to phone that blonde one, and I'm going to get her, that Connie. I'm going to get her round to my room and ravish her. Well, I ran down the plane and the lady stopped me, she said, he's going to have a bath first, love, I won't rush. <laughs> and he was in the hotel, he picked up the phone, and he was like that, I would like you to come to my room, and I would like you to meet me in the bath. And I would like you to bring red wine and chocolate-covered strawberries and have a night of mad, passionate love. How does that sound? The lady said, it sounds great, but you have to dial nine for an extension room. This is reception. <laughs> sounds fabulous, you know. With a pilot, with a, 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 a passenger on the plane, right? He said, have you got any eggs? I said, no. Came back down. Have you got any eggs? I said, no. He said, have you got any eggs? I said, no. Press this button. Have you got any eggs? I said, no. Stop asking me for eggs. He said, have you got any eggs? I said, no. Half an hour into the lab. Any, any eggs? No. I said, look, can you spell eggs? He said, yes. E-G-G-S. I said, you forgot the F. He said, there's no F in eggs. I said, I've been trying to tell you that. Let's right. speak. in the unlikely event of cabin pressure loss. Oh, it must be likely, otherwise they wouldn't do it, would they? I love it. You know, have you ever played this game? Right. Have you ever played Rebels Roulette? Where are you going? <laughs> See about signs fastened. <laughs> have you ever played Rebels Roulette? You get a bag of Rebels, right? And you get a friend with a nut allergy. <laughs> Tracy, she's got the nut allergy. We only played it once with the right enough, but she loved it. 
that was great. And I tell you what, I do miss her. I really do miss her. And do you know what? I do, I do. And do you know what? She was such a good friend that that night when she had that nut and she went all that like, bloated and all that stuff. And she, she really, really wanted me to have a recce pen. She was like that. <laughs> and that lovely carton gift that she gave me. Still got it. Still got it, but I don't use it as an epi pen. I take it to bingo as a dabber. <laughs> Right, where's the other girls? Where are the girls? Back in Egypt, back girls. Come on, come on. Look at them all. Look at them all. Right, now we've got a little thing for you. Right, here you go. Melanie, that's for you. Thora, that's yours. Where are you? Oh, there you are. There you are, Barbara. There you go, Siobhan. There we go. Dropping it, dropping it. That one's for you. What's your name again? Can't remember, can I? Oh, what is it again? Oh, it's uh, Euphemia. <laughs> and this is Steph. Not Stephanie, Stephen, it's a fella. <laughs> have a look, have a look, have a look. Have a look, when he's dancing, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, well, listen, I've not got a tam. Hang on a minute, I've not got a bloody tambourine. Hang on, I'll put this up. Don't look up. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have a bloody tambourine. Eh, where's my tambourine? I need my tambourine. Right, ladies, this is it. I don't have a tambourine, so you'll have to do the number on your own. See you later, happy flying, tra! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.